The extract effect is found under the keying category, and if we apply it to our layer, it's going to give us something that looks a whole lot like levels. But instead of adjusting the brightness values of the image, it's going to key out parts of the image. So we have a histogram, just like the levels effect, to show us how many dark pixels and how many bright pixels we have in our image. And let's say that I wanna get rid of all of the black, make all of that transparent. Well, then I would grab this handle right here, which is the black point, and just start dragging it to the right. And as soon as I did that, the background turned pure black. If I turn on my transparency grid, you can see exactly what's happening. It's keying out that darker portion of the range. You can also use the black point control down here. So if I just get it far enough to where we lose all of that empty space, then everything to the left of that section of the histogram is now transparent. We can also soften this so it's not such a hard, sharp edge by grabbing this point right here and dragging it to the left. This is our black softness. So we can soften out that range selection and then maybe pull the black point forward a little bit more, bring that black softness back, and really dial that in. We can do the exact same thing in the opposite direction too. If I wanted to key out the white point, I would just bring that down and then probably soften that out as well. If I switch to viewing just my alpha channel, then we can really see what that mat looks like. So maybe I'd bring that in a little bit more and soften it out further. I'll switch back to my RGB mode, and we also have the ability to invert that mat. So it could leave that instead of key it out. Now, this doesn't only have to work on the luminance channel. Let me reset the effect and take a look at the flag, and I'll change the channel from luminance to red. Now if I adjust this white point, it's going to be looking at just the red channel instead of the combined luminance of the entire image. And we can also switch to looking at just the red channel using this menu right here. So it could get rid of the dark pixels in the red channel, it could get rid of the bright pixels in the red channel, or I could switch this to green. Take a look at the green channel, switch this to blue, and it will update what it's basing that extraction on. Now, none of these results are all that great on this photograph, but if you were ever given a logo that was on a white or a black background, you could use this to get rid of that background. So let's pretend that I have my logo here on a background. I used a solid composite to generate that background fill, but now I can apply the extract effect and just ever so slightly bring that black point up and it will immediately remove that black background. Now we still have a little bit of a hard edge around some of the design, so maybe I'll increase that black point until it's completely gone, uh, but not so far that it gets rid of the green, and then click and drag on the black softness just to bring some of that back so it's not such a harsh edge. And just like that, I'm able to simply remove that background without having to take this into Photoshop or even ask for another version of the logo. But that's it for the extract effect. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you want to support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.